Hi, um, here's a quick demo of the Freeform Obsidian plugin. Uh, this is something that I wrote for my own notes because I really like having charts around for anything that's kind of vaguely numeric. Um, and it kind of allows you to write Freeform JavaScript. Uh, you can import ES modules like uh, observable plot or D3, or here, simple statistics. Um, and you can do practically anything that you want because this is uh, in a iframe within your note. Uh, so as you can see here, what it does is that it adds a new block type to Obsidian called freeform. And in the most basic example, I could say this is a freeform block and just display the number one. So everything that happens within this block um, is within an iframe. So if I say like document body dot style background color equals red, this will only change the background color of this uh, iframe uh, in this instance. Uh, so you do have the ability to do things like load in libraries like Preact or things that take uh, charge of the entire iframe body, and they won't affect the top frame. Um, you also do have access to window.top as well if you want to uh, access like data view or the Obsidian uh, APIs. So what I do pretty often is use this with observable plot. Uh, you can install or in import observable plot from JS Deliver. Uh, this is actually straight from observable plots uh, documentation. And here we're just creating a quick little bar chart. Uh, but you can do this with data from your notes. Um, I have some examples in the blog post that I'm publishing at the same time as this video, which show how to parse markdown tables in your notes or pull in things from DataView.js. And speaking of DataView.js, um, here's an example of that. Um, oof, have a lot of examples in here. Uh, here we're actually accessing the DataView um, query API. And so I'm looking at all the things in this folder of my notes about practically everything that I own. Uh, you can see this, this one up here is the laptop that I'm recording this video on. And then I'm simply turning that into a chart with uh, observable plot. Um, and then here's an example in which I'm using uh, this iframe and its access to window.top to get the value of the current editor and then turn this markdown table into this JavaScript object, which is parsed. Um, so you can really do quite a lot with this. Um, here's another uh, observable uh, example that I've done a really quick, simple port to Freeform. And so it's loading some JSON, it's plotting that JSON. Um, and there's really not that much to learn here. Uh, it does require you to, to know JavaScript and to be familiar with uh, observable plot. And I would say, unfortunately, the, the editing experience is, is not great right now. You don't have syntax highlighting for this, and you also don't have live preview. It's kind of going between the two, the two states. Um, but this is something that I really want to improve. Um, and it's also an open source uh, project. So it's on GitHub. Uh, the link will be in this description. And if you want to contribute a PR and improve any of the little warts with this thing, I, that, that would be fantastic. Um, so anyway, give it a shot. Uh, this is the plugin is on the observable, uh, uh, sorry, on the Obsidian uh, community plugins uh, list, and so you can just search for it. Um, and yeah, of course, shout out to Observable. It is uh, somewhat inspired by the Observable style of programming, uh, in which you have these these little cells, um, but it's quite a lot simpler and honestly a bit less powerful than than the full observable experience, but it does let you use their plot library, uh, which is really fantastic for creating these kind of charts and puts no limits on what you can do uh, with visualizations. Uh, so that's about it. Uh, yeah, give it a shot. Thanks.